Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Erode Dilate node. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And we're going to drop a Delta Keyer. And connect it up. And let's go ahead and grab a key. And key some of this out. And we're going to bring in an Erode Dilate node. Now the Erode Dilate node is basically here to contract or expand an image based on how much we uh, slide it. Now let's go ahead and connect this straight to the image and we'll bring it in. Now you have multiple channels here, so you can operate off your R, G, B, and A, your alpha channel. And if we change our mount, you can see it's eroding and dilating all those channels. So if we wanted to use this on say a keyer to erode or dilate our key, we would want to make sure we're only working on the alpha channel. So let's connect this in from our key. We'll bring it in and now we can erode and dilate our alpha channel. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's happening. It's basically eroding or dilating our alpha. But I will say this is kind of an antiquated node because within our keyer themselves on our mat and it operates much better than the erode and dilate node, which uh, is pretty aggressive when it comes to uh, eroding and dilating and it doesn't quite erode or dilate without leaving additional data. And within the node itself, you have your typical clipping modes, which are frame, domain, and none. So that is the erode dilate node. You can use it for many things, but its primary use is for working with alphas and keen. But my personal experience, I never use it. I normally only use the Erode and Dilate on individual keyers within Fusion. So I will see you in the next node breakdown. I am sorry this was such a short and somewhat uninformative and boring node breakdown.